We're making some breakfast. We're gonna early start today because it's almost 20 kilometers to the next campsite. And there's a big pass. We need to go over. The pass is pretty dangerous. The winds are high, so I'm gonna make it up there in about three to four hours. And then it's down to the Patagonian ice fields. Good morning. You can't see me because it's 5.30 in the morning and we've already started hiking. It's day four. We're going over John Gardner Pass at 1,200 meters. It's pretty difficult to find a way when it's dark. Hopefully we don't get lost. See you when the sun comes out. Headed up there. Halfway. Getting sketchy out here. Woo -hoo -hoo! Stop for one second. I think that's the most beautiful view I've ever seen. Besides this view. I really want to take a photo, but I can't. I really want to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Time to leave. There's a rainbow right now. And I'm so angry. I couldn't take my phone. My hands are numb. Feel my fingers. That was a really tough hike. It was only 600 meters up, but the weather just killed us. But the view when you cross the pass, unlike anything I've ever seen. That's the biggest benefit of hiking the O. You only get to come here if you hike four days in. Oh, hey, you're here. It's time for lunch. After five hours of hiking in the blizzard, we finally have sausage, cheese, pita bread, and peanut butter. Oh, the peanut butter is so good. Oh my god, I'm so hungry right now. Was that the hardest hike ever? Oh, uh, yeah, that was really hard. And then I couldn't take a picture because my hands were numb. What's the point? Stop taking videos. It's just so incredible. Iceberg. Giant iceberg. Welcome to the famous suspension bridge. Oh, wow. Definitely do not look down. That's a lot higher than it looks. Gray Glacier 
and the Southern Patagonia ice fields. I didn't know I was gonna be a Ferrada. Get me out of this wind. Last one kilometer to camp, utterly exhausted. Jocelyn's like basically running on fumes. Oh, but I go to camp, but I hear that they're hot showers. That seems like good motivation. We made it 10 and a half hours. We're so fast. On a trail that's supposed to take eight. Time to set up camp and have a hot shower. Great. This is the place where all the tents are. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> yeah, the showers, the ducha with extremely hot waters. That's where the rich people sleep. Probably heating in there. And this. TV. Dining room. Oh my god, it smells so good. Okay. Maybe that one. Uh -huh. After having been awake for 17 hours, it is time for an early night. We're finally warm and cozy. I have a down and sleeping liner. This is that. Do I look warm and cozy? Yeah, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> if I look warm and cozy. Today is probably one of the hardest days of hiking that we've ever had. I don't think it would have been that bad if it weren't for the blizzard that we faced on the way up to the pass. Literally blowing me away. <laughs> the guide said that this was normal wind. 75 kilometers an hour. On a bad day, it's 100 kilometers an oh hour. Oh my god, you totally get blown away. I had to be like hit first into the wind. If not, I couldn't move. And if the wind catches me on the side, I fall down. But the ice fields were really nice. Oh my god. I've never seen anything like it before. It was so beautiful. I couldn't stop taking videos. Half my SD card right now is filled with just videos <laughs> of the ice field. It's amazing. Tomorrow's an easy day, so we're gonna wake up early to catch this nice sunrise and then head out to the next camp. See ya! Bye. Good morning. It's day 5 here on the Old Circuit. We have a pretty easy day today, so we have a slightly different routine. Today we're going to see Meridor Grey and have one last look at the glacier before we leave for the W Circuit. <laughs> Now that we're out of the wind, that was incredible. I'm out of words. It's really amazing to be able to see a glacier so up close. And then the little icebergs that have broken off, it's crazy. The glacier used to reach all the way to the shoreline and now it has retreated all the way back. We may not be able to see this glacier 10 years later. Beautiful sunny day! Oh, finally! 9.30 a.m. Can you believe that? We had a good breakfast, some Thor bought coffee. <laughs> oh, I love mornings like this. We've left our future grey and are now heading towards Camp Pane Grande, which is officially the start of the W circuit. So we're probably going to be seeing 
way, 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 way more people. Hola. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hola. 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 Hi. 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 Trying no sticks today. Just see how it feels. This Osprey stow on the go system, it's actually pretty useful. Let's we'll see how it goes. Okay, just kidding. Sticks are back out. This climb definitely needs sticks. After this experiment, I'm definitely a hiking stick kind of guy. about the wind in Patagonia but you don't believe it until you get here hiding out from the wind have some lunch we got salami tortilla and queso wait that's what we had for lunch every single day well it's delicious This is my favorite place in every campsite, the mini market. This one's so well thought. Nissin cut rooms. Wow. We're now in the dining room of Rectito Tiny Grande. And it's so crowded because everybody starts their W circuit here. You can see there are many tour groups. We saw one group with a cheese board. We had a cooler to hold the cheese. But the best part is that we got some Nissin cup noodles. This is our pre-dinner snack before we have our actual dinner at 6 p.m. One of the options to hike the Forest del Paine National Park is to do the W circuit from west to east. So you take a boat to this starting point at Paine Grande Lodge. You dock here and then you go to this beautiful mountain lodge with these beautiful mountains and you start from there. Hello! We are in our tent here in Pine Grande campsite and it is full of dust. It's a dust storm inside our tent. Campsite rating, I think it's a 9. 9 out of 10 deducting points for the dust and the crowd. What about the food? It's pretty it average. Yeah, but I could eat so much. There's a free flow salad bar and free flow dessert bar. And showers were great. They provided soap, which is awesome because we don't have soap. So 9 out of 10 for Pine Grande. Tomorrow we have another easy day. We're going to Camp Francis, about 13 kilometers. So good night and see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's John and Jocelyn from JJ Escapes. We have somehow turned into geese. Bonjour everyone! It is day 6 and we are leaving our beautiful lakeside villa of Camp Pine Grande and heading to Campamento Francis or the French camp. We had a really late start because of the rain and a lot of mud and sand all of our tent. Fun and dirty adventure. Let's go! We got rain last night. 
by the mountains on the fresh powder of snow. What mountain is this? I have no idea. It'll be right here. Just can't get a break from this weather. Can't even see the mountain. Rain, rain, rain. Just keeps raining. Non stop. Really gonna rain the whole day. The weather better or worse than the time that we hiked in New Zealand. On a scale of 1 to 10, how comfortable are you? Worse. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how are you feeling right now? Oh, feel okay. Because we're nearing the campsite. Having a snack here at Camp Italiano. All these people here are waiting out the weather for the Britannical lookout. Doesn't look good. <laughs> Luckily for us, we have another chance tomorrow. So, so we may just hit the camp and try again tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. This smile only comes out when we reach camp. <laughs> okay, massive change of plans. We got to camp. And the weather report for tomorrow morning is not looking so good. So we're going to do the botanical viewpoint today. It's already 1.30 and it's at least six hours round trip. So let's go. Today is gonna be a long day. Oh, we walked past that. I just couldn't even see it just now. Okay, back at Camp Italiano. 5.05 km uphill all the way. 1,000 meters up. So this section is supposed to be one of the big highlights of the O and the W circuit. It's a lookout point in this amazing looking valley. But one thing I never understood, why is there an Italian camp at the base of the French valley going up to the British viewpoint? Who names this stuff? Patagonia weather. Can't see anything. Amazing. Well, check out that view. Turquoise blue waters back there. Oh, running low on steam. I don't know whether we'll make it up. coming in again so we may not get another great view like this oh my god is it worth this climb i think it's worth it last few steps yeah. uh, we're here botanical lookout and check out the view oh <laughs> it's so cloudy now Woo! 1,200 meters climb, done and dusted. Weather is not bad. It's not bad. Some blue in the sky. That's incredible. Totally worth it. Looks like we're not idiots after all. Take that. And that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoy our content, would like to continue following us to amazing places like Patagonia. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video where we complete the old circuit. Menu tonight, we got Indomie, the best instant noodles. There you go. Oh my god. Why my hood look so stupid? Today is gonna be a long day. Oh wait, we're here. We're now removing our jackets because it's too hot.
and all of Jocelyn's stuff are getting rained on because she's very slow in closing the bag. Zero help. <laughs> don't move, don't move. Get the thousand fill down on your, on your butt. Cool. Don't waste uh, it. In my pocket. In Patagonia, you better take the picture first. Yeah, don't yeah. talk about it. Just take all your photos before everything goes away. Oh my god, it looks like we're photoshopped in. We're not photoshopped, because look, I'm moving the camera. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, circuit, baby. Let's go.